Wednesday, the 9th of October, 2019. I'm going to up here and I have six on stillage and lots of balloons and this. Oh, look at all the rest, all the four, you know, Higson's New Zealand IPA, 5% alcohol by volume, nice and murky. That's temperature. Tingly, sharp, fruity. <coughs> Gentle bitterness. I'm going to say D-plus in a bit. I think we're off here. Off like the wind, and I think it'll stop raining. Well, this is number two, and this is on cask, not stillage. And this is Terzo Tempo by Beerifico Argo. I'm going to do the rugby. 4.4% alcohol by volume. I attempt to reproduce my American cream oil. Put in the UK by Wadsworth. Start it. Take Wales at all, maybe. Start to tell. It is a cream oil. That's creamy and smooth and a little bit sweet. E plus in a bit. Okay, I'm on the high odds, which is good. Morgan's cherry corn, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Uh, Wales are just about to play, so it's quite rugby-ish, I'm sure. Uh, okay. uh, right, part of the time of the day. Sweetness. There's coffee in there as well, big plus in the bit. This is Fire Island Buffalo. Mm -hmm. 6% alcohol by volume from Adam Evans. They've only been going since 2004. Anyway, it says here, balanced by notes of hedge royal fruits. 4.6% plus alcohol. Where's the losers? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I think this boy just said, it says one year, last one, 4.6% alcohol by volume, North Brewery, Norfolk, Harry Lamb. Anyway, Wales are winning. That's nice. Some sort of rugby thing. He plus some of it. It was my Joel. He Joel. And this is going to be my last. Trim, American Ruby Mild. I'm not really sure the Americans do mild, but I will ask. 3.8% alcohol by volume. That's my old territory. That's another dog. Oh, hot stillage. Multi aroma. That's a mild, it's hoppy. It's a B plus in a bit, but it's. That's not a bad mild. Because it's not really that mild. Life 
Jim. 